Hi, if you didn't already know, I'm Lore with Lakeside Legends, and I play Imra Lear, a Horizon Walker Shadow Elf Ranger, on our D&D stream on Twitch TV every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Time. In these videos, I share with you our cast's favorite highlights from the stream. Give us some me shenanigans. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I got I got a couple ideas, but I'm gonna go with could, what could potentially be an easy, um, easy thing to help. So so, uh, but if I do the opportunity check, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. If it fails, I can move on. I'm gonna attack him with the cockatrice speak. <laughs> oh no! So you rip out the cockatrice speak. <laughs> okay. Should okay. Seven and it's just. Let's okay. go. Okay, make an attack roll. <laughs> Please oh, nah. roll high. Plus three to hit, baby. Come on. Net twenty. Net <laughs> oh, twenty. Yes. Cool. All right. Yes. Yes. So yes. go. Yes. Proof. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. This is what D and D is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and give me your damage, and then what's this save? Because he has to make. Still makes the save. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Make yeah. Sure he does make turn. the save. Uh. Uh. Oh. I don't think I have the. Uh, I don't think I had that written down. Uh, I, what do you remember? What oh, the it's you. We just was. have to look up cockatrice. Um, yeah, because it'll tell me on the beak. Let me look that up right. real quick. Uh, no, and I then I'll do damage. You got a freaking <laughs> net twenty. Yeah. Oh, and what was the oh. damage we were using for it too? <laughs> Um, it's just a 1d4 plus one piercing damage. So you're banking on the fact that he fails the con save. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a DC 11, and he has a plus two to con, so he just has to roll above a nine. Yeah, not just, you know. Mm. I kid you not, he rolled a seven. As soon, oh my gosh, so this guy books it for you. You dodge out of the way as he goes to bite. He slashes you up across the face. As soon as he does, you spin around and grab the cockatrice beak out of your jacket and shove it upwards right here through his chin. And as he does, he <laughs> and starts to turn and transforms into stone <laughs> right in front of you. So Zula says, <laughs> if this is important to you, then my dear, it is important to me. You she, see she steps out into the circle and she calls, Bianca, I challenge you. Bianca what? turns and walks up. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, after all these years, your true colors finally show. Your husband was trying to take over, and now you are. I accept your challenge. As soon as she says that, you see she... Tr like rips off her skin and transforms into a werewolf and as she does your mom does the same thing <laughs> she's no, a little bit bigger <laughs> wait what <laughs> if your mom does the same thing and she's a little bit bigger yeah! i cast uh, yeah! when i see this happen i kind of go behind the werewolf now statue and I, I, uh, I will warn you me you try to do something it could be very dangerous if they catch you cheating I will warn you. <laughs> Please don't get my mom killed. No, she's a, in a fight with... Well, yeah, guy. I mean, I'll wait till they're the most distracted. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> uh, so, <clears throat> Zula comes running out. Zula is this big, stark, white, giant werewolf. And you see that Bianca... Despite her also having white hair, but she had a little black, she is actually a, a gray werewolf. And your mom comes busting forward. Go, mama wolf. And, she, and uh, yeah, so she comes running out. Um, and she's like, you are not going to take my daughter's friends away from her. <laughs> and as soon as she does, she like, ah, and she just boom, starts to rage. <gasps> what the? She's a barbarian. So your mom. Barbarian werewolf. 
Yeah, no, no, starts to go oh, into a favorite. rage. As soon as she does, you see her mouth gets bigger, her claws get longer, her teeth get huge, and she runs up and just starts wailing. Little ones, do not be afraid. Follow the sound of my voice. See, they look around. And they start to look at each other. Come. This way. And they move forward and come out of their cages and they kind of look up at the statue, thinking... It's the goddess? <laughs> <laughs> you are free. I will not let anyone hurt you. Where do we go? We cannot leave. Do you have any home? I wouldn't even know how to get there. Me either. Do you know your village? I came from Feleki. I came from the village of Barovia. I came from Kresk. Me too. Do you want to go home? It's all right. Don't want to stay here. Me neither. Take me home. All Do these your... different little voices. Do your parents love you? Don't know. That is love. The one who asked that, I just, I wrap my arms around them. They can't see me. Shh. It's okay. And kind of just pet their hair. Love is warmth. Love is kind. Do you love me? I love all the little ones. What should we do? For now, we leave the cave. And we find a place for all of you to rest. Will you lead us? I drop invisibility. <gasps> so they all gasp and... You see the one that asked you if you loved them turns and she goes, The night mother! And she runs over and grabs your leg. <gasps> uh, don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to our social media so you can stay up to date with Lakeside Legends activities. See you on the lakeside.